Food prices were still lagging. These workers have to stay more spaced out in the plants. That basically means that you can't process as many cattle. So the capacity, uh, quote, full capacity now is probably going to be maybe 90 percent of what it was before, at least until this fall. It's unclear if the worst is over for the meat supply chain or that the coronavirus pandemic has exposed a fragile supply chain that will require some serious adjustments. One thing is for sure, having so much hinge on a few companies' ability to get meat into consumers' hands leaves the supply chain vulnerable in times like these. It remains to be seen whether it's the right decision to open many of the plants. Whenever you have a, a big labor challenge and it drives up the costs of maintaining a labor force, or it causes supply to change dis disruptions, you, you see automation. Um, if you go to a McDonald's now, you can order from a person or you can order from a board. Could you see the same thing in large-scale processing? Hinjong. Hinjong. Hinjong.